15 miles from Sakhar and 8 miles from Shikalapur. And this uh, town is named after my grandfather. Um, I had my primary and middle education in Lucky uh, up to 8th grade. So we, we didn't have electricity and uh, we had one teacher for you know, this grade and uh, middle school was also not that good. Um, so then I went to uh, Hyderabad and my ninth and 10th grade education was model school, University of Sin. That was really a model school for the whole province and the whole country. It was very, really very good. And that was an old campus, uh, Sin University. And those two years were really good for me. Then after that, I went to Cantonment College in Hyderabad, in southern area. That was also a really good college. And we used to have uh, the principal, uh, Tunyo, who was actually Sindhi principal, very good, very strict, uh, but with a lot of discipline. And those four years in my education were the only important years in Pakistan. So after that, I went to uh, Dawood College of Engineering and Technology, which was actually nationalized and became National College of Engineering and Technology in 74. And uh, then I went to Phillips in Holland, 1980, and did my PhD and master's from Wayne State University in uh, Detroit, Michigan, 1986. So I have been here in, in the University of Central Florida, which is the sixth largest university in this country. We, would, we will have 49,000 students in fall, um, and uh, I've been here 20 years. So um, I have a computer vision lab, which uh, is about a group of uh, 30 people. Uh, we are doing lots of good research, and this is our website, and this is my group. So several PhD students, postdocs, and undergraduate masters, and so on. Now, if you look at this, you will see lots of Pakistani students. Okay, so that's a point I want to make here: that I have uh, graduated several Pakistani students from Pakistan. Actually, none of them is Sindhi, uh, but they are doing very well. So my first student from Pakistan was um, the Suhaib Ahmed Khan. And he is a professor at LAMS. And LAMS, as you know, in Pakistan is one of the top institutions. They are doing very, very well in higher education. Um, then another student, also from GIK. GIK is another good institution in Pakistan, Ulam Sakhan Institution uh, in Topi. And they have a very good education system. Um, so we have one more from um, GIK, NET, and uh, another one, GIK and another one, GIK. These are the really top students. They do very well and they compete in all over the world, internationally very good research. And uh, that tells you that Pakistan, our sin has a lot of potential if people are willing to work hard, as can we just talk about it. You, know, you have to show what you can do and then people will listen to you. So uh, currently I also have several Pakistani students, and most of them are from um, GIK, and they are really good students. They are known in our university and many other uh, universities in the country that they, the GIK labs, they produce very good students. Their education system is very good. Uh, in addition to that, um, I'm supervising students in any university, and these are the students that are going to get the degree in any but they come visit me and I direct their uh, PhD. And there are two students and one student from NAST, and he is actually Cindy from Dhaka, and is a pretty good student, uh, Javed Ahmed Sheikh. So uh, other thing, what I have been doing, that since uh, 92, I have been going almost every year to Pakistan and uh, doing some short courses, uh, some organizing some workshops, and visiting different universities, and these are funded by various sources. One is the National Science Foundation in the US, other is the UNDP uh, from the UN, and they fund these visits, these programs, and this is very good for the Pakistan and Sin. And these are the you know, different things we have done 
uh, in almost every year in different cities, in Melbourne, in Zambes, and all these places. So I'll go through quickly that. Now, other thing we did recently that we signed a memorandum of understanding with Meran uh, University. Uh, the vice chancellor of Meran came to our university with his registrar, and uh, uh, they uh, we gave them a very good uh, uh, deal that they can send their um, uh, their uh, students who can do PhD, and we can you know waive their tuition and so on. And we have also done with the National uh, University of Science and Technology. So um, the question is that these students who come here, uh, they do very good research. And the students who stay here, and all the professionals, uh, what's the reason that these students